Please don't have no freaking commercial in here. For which he was born. All right, and at the moment Heru reclaimed his father's throne and was crowned the king of Kemet. Now look, there it goes right there, the wings of my eye that I be telling you about. You see it? It was crowned the king of Kemet. See? His father and then you Asar see was they ain't not trying to have that. And took his place on the throne of judgment. All right. Here's the God of Sar with his family coming out of the lotus to show you that a God is the true father of all the races on earth. You can see the different skin complexions right there. You can see his son, Haru. None can come to the father but through the son. Jesus stole that and plagiarized the two. Here it goes all this day. You can see him sitting inside of the protection of the cosmic forces with his wife and his sister behind him with the throne up and upside down. Creation and recreation with him. Got both hands on the job with the crook and the flail. Sitting on the square as the true universal ruler and his son Haru bringing the initiate to the father for judgment. And if you come back here, I'm going to show you where they got their scale from right there. Right there from the dead. Look at this. See the scale that they have in their court right now with his son Anubis or Anpu standing there weighing the heart and the heart need to weigh, weigh lighter than the ostrich feather because if the heart is heavier than the ostrich feather it means that you still have earthly impressions inside of your heart so you have to go back and what happened is your heart get thrown to the Ami monster right here that is crocodile, uh, it's, it's, it's a lion, hippopotamus and crocodile and if you found that your heart is weighing heavier than the, the feather, that means that you have too much earthly impressions inside of your heart and you will return to earth and this demon monster right here get to torment you until you return back to earth. So that is a form of going to hell because instead of you being able to move on, you can see the God Tehuti right here as the iris bird writing everything down. Writing everything down that go on in the court. And this is where the Europeans got their whole court system from to this day. And this is the scales of Ma'at. They call this the, um, the, um, the Ma'at something I can't think of right now. But this is the, this is the judgment chamber of Ma'at. And he, Asar also would have his daughter there with him, which is Ra. Asar is a representation of the son Ra too. That's why I call myself Asar Ra. Okay, I'm the middle blackness in the sun plus the sun light itself. And you can see him inside of the protection that you see the Pope riding around it right now. They stole it all from us. All of it got stolen from us. His place on the throne of judgment. According to Plutarch, what he says about Osiris is that Osiris was a See, that really pissed me off. Why do they got to always put these Greeks in here? Couldn't they have went back and just found the hieroglyphs on the wall and read them to you right off the wall? You hear me telling everything I know, but I don't have to use no fucking Greek to tell you where the knowledge came from. This knowledge had been on the earth for thousands of years before any Greek was even in his daddy balls. So why do they have to be the one that come out here and refer to something? Because they have all the damn money. They've stolen all the wealth of the earth, and every time someone have to do something, you got to go kiss their ass because they've stolen every damn thing with their guns and their lies and their murder and their treachery. He should never have his white ass in there saying anything about our history. So sick of them always been sitting in the seat of telling someone what happened. That's why we're all so damn stupid right now. Associated with the moon. And the moon has its lunar cycle and then disappears at the end of the lunar month. And then three days later is then reborn. And this is then the resurrection of Osiris after being dead for three days. So Osiris is then the god of death and resurrection. I keep telling you guys that. Now the dead is all you people on earth that's running your ass around here worshiping a dead man as your god. Okay, that's what I came back here for to let you know you got to get out of that stagnant bullshit, okay? Here's the lights right here, the UFOs that came with me, okay? This is ancient history stuff that they've hid from you 
and gave you that Jesus bullshit, and that's why the whole earth is decayed and stagnant and dying. Because instead of you worshiping the living God, which is the spiritual energy that's inside of each and every one of us, we all paying homage to some dead ass white man, and you can see them just running around the world causing nothing but chaos. Nothing but death and war and chaos. And then I'm here on the earth dropping the knowledge to everybody and completely overlooked. Half the time got to run around here begging people and shit to be able to sustain myself because the white man knows he's got to keep the black man broke unless, of course, I go out there and perpetuate all his bullshit. Then I can have money. But since I'm coming out here telling everybody, no, he's not God. He's a criminal. He's a lying ass thief. They do everything they can to keep my ass broke. But I don't need that money because I got the light ships and I'm going to use the light ships to kill all their asses. And I keep telling you that not because I want to be a hard ass or a bad ass. I tell you that because I was sent here to kill them and they know that. They all know. If, even if they keep lying on the news and everything, they can see the weather already doing it. They're not telling you how many of them is dying, but you take my word for it. Their asses are dying like flies. And Seth, or Zetesh, is never thrown away. He's an important part of the whole series of gods. He's not the annihilating factor. Seth was not purely evil. Seth represented the forces of discordance. Zetesh still has to be there. If you take him away, you take away part of reality. But he shouldn't be king. So that balance between Hor and Zetesh is one where Hor had always meant to be very much on top and ruling. And that's absolutely right, because Haru is the son of the godson Asar, which means that the son of the sun. Let me explain to you what I mean. Asar is the essence of the sun, the spiritual energy that gives the sun its power and its illumination. So he is the true source that is the permeance of the sun. And he gave birth to his son through a spiritual encounter with his wife, Aset, who is also a part of the sun. The sun is androgynous. She, the sun is both Asar and Aset, but it's more Aset than Asar, because when you see it in the pictorial, you can see Asar on earth sitting on the throne, but you see his wife of Set still up in the sun. And one of the ritual, one of the stories they told is that Aset wanted to be her father so much that she kept asking him questions. She even poisoned him to make him get ill. And she said, I had an antidote. And she said, I'll give you the antidote to restore yourself, but you got to tell me the secrets of your power. And he told her, he said, if you really want to know the secrets of my power, you got to become me. And she wanted to, she loved her father so much, and she wanted to be him so much that she gave up her own existence to become a part of the sun. And that's the reason why you see her always standing around with the throne on top of her head as truly being the one that encompasses all. And through her passes the king. And unless a woman birthed a man, he can't do shit until he passes through a woman. And our ancestors were very inclusive. And they knew for certain that, as I said, there's a little bit of good in the worst of us and a little bit of bad in the best of us. And they represented that in this way. So the reigning ruler in Kamat, and this has taken over to an extent in Kush, uh, the reigning king is Horus because he's managed to take over and rule. That's right. And you got to remember something. Horus is also a Sar because they are both emanations of the sun. So how can the sun be any less than the father? Okay, so that means that when the rule sat back on the throne, what he did is reclaim the throne for his father, a Sar. So Haru is both a Sar and Haru, and Ra. They call it Ra Harakte, is what they call Haru, the noonday sun, that which remains above. That means that he is infallible, not the Pope. Haru, which I'm on my way to becoming. You just watch and see. I'm getting rid of evil off this earth. Know that to be the words of God.
what it says? It says, Kemetic monarchy is said to have existed since the beginning of the world. Each king was given the little Haru, whose eyes were the sun and moon. It was believed that he embodied the spirit of the great creator God, and thus ruled through God's divine order. That's exactly what is going on with me. This white man down here has stolen all the riches of this world, but he is not the true ruler. The true ruler of this earth right now is, you're listening to him, the God of Sar, with the capabilities inside to become the true ruler essence of the son, her rule, not Jesus, her rule. <laughs> This is ancient Kemet stuff that they stole from us, plagiarized it from us. All right, that's really the truth. I'm telling you guys the truth. Okay, that's that on that. God is Bass. This is my sister right here. It say Bass is commonly known as goddess of the home. And protection and is also seen as another aspect of the eye of Ra. She is, she is seen as a goddess of motherhood as well being a protector of the home but she also had a fiery aspect likening her to segment. She was originally a goddess of war, a protector of the pharaoh, but soon Segment took the role as bad, took the role, took this role, and Baz transformed to the role as we know her today. Her image as a cat was originally a lioness due to the ferocity of lionesses. This connection made all cats sacred. Being goddess of the sun also intensified this ferocity. That's the light I showed you guys in the sun that's green. That's Bastet, the orange one is segment. However, just because she is fiery, her mother aspect is also dominant. It can be seen that her mother protectiveness inspires her anger should someone threaten her children. See, this is what then happened. You guys came on this earth and you enslaved us and you murdered us and you hang us and you cut our phalluses off and you stole all our wealth and you've taken control of this land and you turned us all into beggars and thieves and crackheads and pushers and homosexuals and everything negative from what the universe meant for us to be. And that's the reason why I tell you that the God is segment and the God is bass is here to burn y'all asses up because it's the sun that's getting ready to do it and the representation of that green and orange fire, which is both of their colors. It says, Bass is the daughter of Ra, Asara, and is often said to be consort to Ptah. Although this is shared with segment another possible consort is Anubis as Bast is also goddess of ointment and perfume and he is god of embalming see that's the reason why they told me to sell you the green light because when I when you would have brought that green light you would have been putting the ointment on and the perfume of the of the of Bastet in segment but you guys refused to buy it. You told them, fuck you. And that's the reason why right now the world, 